Hey, what's up guys? Greetings and salutations everybody. My name is Axe, and how are you all today? I'm doing quite well. Thank you. Oh, really? Oh, looking great. You're, oh, did you get a new haircut? Oh, wonderful. Um, but formalities aside, uh, how's it going everybody? Today is Monday, and I, as you can see here, felt like playing a little bit of TF2, and not just TF2, but to return to kind of a commentary I want to talk about. So, a bit of a throwback day, really, um, throwback Monday, there we go, Martin Luther King Day inspired me to, you know, do old TF2 and commentaries, I, I don't know, I don't know. Um, but anyways, what I wanted to talk to you about today was kind of a twist off of a uh, something that I, I, I let me just get into it I suppose so uh, a while back I guess you know a few weeks or so ago I went to go see a movie called uh, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty and it's a movie that Ben Stiller directed and stars in along with Kristen Wiig and a few others uh, that you would recognize well I loved the movie I fell in love with it it was a wonderful film simple but the simplicity it had depth in it, some simplicity, if that made sense. Um, basically, to put some background story into this, it's a story of a um, kind of socially awkward uh, worker who works for Life, which is a um, kind of, a, I guess, a kind of a global uh, magazine. You know, a lot of uh, nature, or it's a world magazine, basically, and covers. You know, life, I suppose, is kind of its uh, thing. And he's worked there for X amount of years and kind of is interested in this girl who doesn't even know he exists. You know, the stereotypical um, guy story, it seems like. And he works in photo development. Well, anyways, one of the negatives, it's our final issue of life, and one of the negatives that was supposed to be the best one didn't come in. And so he just kind of breaks out of his boring life and goes to find this photographer who's lived, you know, out in the wilds for how long and taking pictures. He, you know, he's the one living life. And here is this guy who kind of just works in the office all the time and, you know, loves the pictures of life but has never really experienced it. And it's a great movie, a great flick. Um, I won't, you know, go into it, but it's, it's kind of a soul-searching movie. And I loved it. I related to it. There was some stuff in there that I appreciated and I just felt a really deep connection to. Again, simple but yet very elegant. And what it got me thinking about was how we live our lives. You know, very often we tell ourselves, you know, we're living a lot, doing a lot. But really, it's like, how often have we really gone outside and just looked at things? Or I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, um, have really felt that connection or just explored how, you know, the things that kind of get shuffled under the blanket here with a more modernized and adult life. You know, the older you get. Uh, the more responsibilities you have and the more things you have to worry about and cover and financially and job security and all this stuff and, you know, am I making the right choices? And we kind of don't take those moments. I mean, we still follow and pursue hobbies of ours, but, uh, I mean, you know, we don't really just, I guess, go out and experience the world. And some of that is part fear, part trying to plan a stable foundation for our futures and a lot of other reasons, but... There is so much more in it that unfortunately we never seem to get around to because it's difficult. If, if you know, if you were a millionaire and you had a bunch of money and you didn't have to worry about that and you know, you were financially stable, every, you know, everything was going well, then you could easily go soul searching, you could easily go out into the world and just experience things. But for the most of us, a major trip somewhere would cost a lot of money or, you know, doing stuff. And then you want to make sure you have a, you know, I guess full endeavor since it might not be often for the average person. It's difficult to get that, it, it, that level of, you know, exploration and adventure. You know, it's something that's very hollywood -ified, but yet something that we should still, I think, strive for in our day-to-day -day lives. Um, for instance, I enjoy going on walks. Now, I live in a very beautiful part of Oregon, which is a, um, a very, very, um, like, I guess I'm very lucky with where I am, I am guess I'd say. But I just go for a quick walk, which is about a mile and a half loop, um, and even though I don't see, you know, the, uh, the, the Alps, or I don't, 
uh, experience the plains or the Grand Canyon, I see a lot of beauty in what's out there. And for many people, that can be difficult with a city environment to more urban, but it's a little part of me that loves it, and I feel this kind of connection and almost like a breath of fresh air that enters you uh, when you do stuff like that. And so I had a high appreciation for the movie and the thoughts of that you know, we all have our realistic things we have to do in life. It's very difficult to completely detach and just become kind of a wanderer. There's a lot of things with that. However, striving to get those little moments in our lives, whatever it may be, it doesn't have to be a hike or a nature walk. It could be even, you know, if you do like the city, maybe an urban walk or whatever it is. To find those moments in life where we do disconnect for a moment or so. And we take in what's actually around us and kind of shatter the reality that we overlay over our lives. We kind of almost have a monitor, I feel, an invisible monitor in front of our face uh, when we get into high production mode. Because, you know, we're worrying if everything's okay, if everything's going well, if, you know, what have I forgotten, what do I have to do? And we lose track of some things that are important. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the commentary. I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you all so much for what you've done. And I hope you all have amazing days. You know, I love you all, and I wouldn't be here without you. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't, I'm so confused. I just got an achievement. There's a lot of people. Okay, okay, yeah. Is this where we're fighting?